Wabash Valley's most watched newscast continues with Storm Team 10's Joe Ostrowski. Well, good evening, everybody. Let's start with the good news. And the good news is we actually had a quite nice day outside. Very mild temperatures got up into the 50s in most parts. And even at this hour, we're still at 39 degrees outside with clear skies for the most part across the region. But things are preparing to change. Let's take a look at that here on the clouds and radar for the broader region. And you see moving across Missouri is a system with rain toward the front end and winter weather further to the back. You see all that blue back there indicative of snow as well as some wintry mix sandwich there in the middle. That's going to be pushing its way into our area over the next 24 hours. And so we're going to have uh, quite a bit of potential for winter weather for snow, even though we are, of course, already officially into spring. So let's take a look on the future cast at exactly what we're looking at in terms of weather over the next. Well, actually, first we'll take a look at some winter storm warnings that are already in effect. And just about everybody in the Wabash Valley at this point is under a winter storm warning for the next couple of days. That again is because of that potential for snow, potential for travel problems because of that snow. So the bottom line is if you're heading anywhere over the next couple of days, you want to budget some extra time and budget some extra caution as well. Even counties like Knox County that are not under a warning, many are also under advisories. And so you're going to want to check for specifics on your location at our website. Again, WTHITV.com. Now let's take a look at what we can expect moving forward over the next few hours and over the next few days here on the Futurecast forecast. Moving through tonight, you see that system pushing its way into our area. Temperatures cool down into the low 30s. And by the time we get to early Sunday morning, we've got a wintry mix over the southern part of the viewing area. And from I-70 north, we start seeing the beginnings of some snow. So that snow is going to start moving into the picture in the wee small hours of the morning as we move into Sunday. During the day on Sunday, snow is going to stay in the picture, but we're not really looking at large amounts for the most part, we're looking at sustained snow through the day, not really all that heavy until we get towards Sunday evening. And you see some of that here, this darker area of snow here, potential for greater snowfall, potential for greater accumulation as we move further towards Sunday night. And also, of course, we warm up into the mid 30s there on, on Sunday, so we're cooling off considerably from where we were today. Snow again stays with us on through Sunday night into early Monday morning. Temperatures cool into the upper 20s, but look at this. I want you to keep an eye on this wind here. We're looking at a northeast wind around 15 miles an hour, gusting up to around 25 miles an hour. That's potential as well for some drifting of that snow as we move overnight. Something else you're going to want to keep an eye on if you're out doing some traveling at all. Now let's take a quick look forward here uh, at what we're looking at in terms of snowfall totals. For again, those areas further to the north, we're looking at about five to seven inches potential of snow there. Further south, it's going to be lesser, around three inches to five inches potential there for some of our southern counties. Tonight, we see the beginnings of that system moving in, potential for rain further south, potential for some snow as well. Tomorrow, we warm up to around only 35 degrees. Snow moves into the picture tomorrow, sticks in the picture tomorrow night. More snow overnight tomorrow. We cool down into the 20s. Keep an eye on that wind as well. Here's a quick look at the seven day forecast. Some lingering snow in the picture on Tuesday. We start clearing out on Wednesday and Thursday. That's it for weather news.